Just here with the truth. Yeah. Yeah, strap season man down. How are you doing? Welcome to the UK, sir. I'm doing good. I can't complain. Cool, cool, cool. So, um, just explain. Obviously, you got this motto that you're saying on the Twitter, man yeah. down, strap season. Just explain that for people who don't know. Oh, well, strap season is basically, you know, uh, strap season. I'm getting out of belts. Basically, belt season, you know. Kel Brook, I'm fighting him. After I win that belt, then it's Keith Thurman, then it's Manny Pacquiao. So, right. you know, strap season time to get out of belts now. It's my time now. Right. And man down is basically, you know, what it is. You know, man down. You know, whoever I get in the ring with, it, it's a man down. Yeah. Knocking yeah. the guy out. So, you're coming over with a massive reputation. Now, is it 84% knockout ratio you got now? Yeah, something yeah? like that. Yeah. Okay, so you, you're not thinking of this going to the judges, no? Um, you know, I can't, you know, I'm not going to, you know, fully rely on that. You know, we're going for 12 rounds, but, you know, my style is if I do get them hurt, stop them. So, you know, if I do get them hurt, it'll be a man down. But, you know, if it go 12 rounds, I'll be prepared for 12 rounds. So, right. it doesn't matter. If it go 12 rounds, it goes, you know, it's five rounds, as long as I get the win. Are you um, concerned about, you know, you, you're coming over here in Cal's backyard and he's got the home advantage? Are you worried that if he goes to judges, he's not going to get a fair shake? Um, I'm not worried about that. I can't worry about that at all. You know, I just got to fight my style. You know, the fans know it's on TV, so, you know, if I do win and whatever happens, you know, if every, the fans know who won, everybody know who won, who watched the fight. So I'm not going to, you know, go into that thinking, oh, the judge is going to take it from me and then fight a whole different, different style. Mm. And, you know, end up losing convincingly. So I'm going there with my game plan and going there with me and my coach worked on and get, get this win. You've had, probably had a chance to look around. The room is fantastic, really. Yeah. Um, 20, I think 20, 30,000 people on fight day. Um, do you think that will play? Will that, how, how are you going to handle that sort of pressure? And, you know, coming into the drag uh, lion's den, uh, the British public are really passionate about the boxers. Um, how do you think you're going to handle that pressure on fight day? Um, you know, I think I handled it great. I mean, you know, great fighters show up in great moments, you know. Mm. You no, know, it'd be a lot of pressure on me, but it'd be a lot of pressure on him too, you know, to perform in front of his fans, family, and friends too. So it'd be a lot of pressure on him. Just, mm. just a matter of, pre I don't really think it's, you know, it's a lot of, he got more pressure on himself than he, than he got on, than I got on myself. Right. Because he's fighting at home. You know, he's the champion. You know, right. So, you know, he, he wants to perform badly in front, of, you know, perform great in front of his fans. So mm -hmm. I'm not worried about it at all. The press conference started off like on a mutual respect, yeah. and then your train must have said something about stop, <laughs> stop going about past opponents, yeah. and he just kicked off from there. Yeah. Um, I mean, do you do you respect the fact that he went in there with Triple G? Uh, do you, have you watched the fight back? Do you respect that? He, you know, no one's knocked him out. Yeah. You know, and he stood up, and he only got stopped because of an eye injury. Do you respect that uh, factor about Cal? Um, definitely. Uh, you know, Triple G is a great fighter. He's a big guy. You know, just the fact that he moved. Through once he said to fight him, you know, that was good. And, um, and I respect him for that, but, you know, that's that's in the past, you know. Mm. This is now, and um, I just feel like we shouldn't be talking about Triple G mm. 30, 40 times in the press conference. Mm. You know, we talk about me and him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I guess my coach got frustrated because, you know, Triple G has been mentioned too much. It was like mm. we was we was promoting him or something. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it is what it is. And what do you think, what do you make of, like, obviously, Kyle Brooks trainer Dom, Dominic Engel saying that, don't really respect the fact that you've been in there with Algeria and Bundu, was it? Yeah. The last fight, he's the old man, so yeah. what do you think of that? I mean, his, his opinion don't mean anything to me. I don't know who he is, you know. I don't even know his first or last name. You know, I just know him as, you know, Kel Brook trainer. You know, so it is what it is, but his opinion is a grain of salt to me. Right. And you were face to face, um, in the face off, you know, you were vo both of you were vocal. Yeah. What were you actually saying to each other? Well, usually he said he's going to give me a chocolate brownie, and then uh, I just said he's going to be a man down. So we just right. use the trash talking. Right, okay. And what would it mean for you to come here and go back home with the IBF belt? I mean, everything. It's a lifelong dream of mine since I was a little kid to do something like this and to win the world championship and uh, unify all the belts and become the speed of the champion. So, um, it was something that I'm 100% focused for. I've been waiting for this my whole life. So I just got to stay, have tunnel vision, stay focused, stay dedicated, and uh, bring everything to the ring May 27th. Fantastic. And finally, just look down the camera and just, just tell the British public what they're going to expect on May the 27th. Shout out to the British people, man. You're going to expect an electrifying fight from both sides. It's going to be another man down. 
bring the bill back to the U.S. And um, can't wait for May 27. Everybody tune in.